Today, I'm going to be showing you on how you can install EXE, a modern admin panel which is super simple, has a great UI, and is very easy to use and understandable. Now, a quick disclaimer before we start this video is I made none of this, all credit for making this goes to Toast, the creator of this, and I'm simply showing you how this works and how you can install it into your Roblox game. It's a super cool system, it uses a simple open button, so now I'm going to show you on how this works and a little bit about it. Then I'll show you how we can install it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to touch is custom commands, and these are custom commands you can add into your game. So let's first try making it nighttime, so let's execute that. As you can see it makes it nighttime, and then let's make it daytime. As you can see in the right side is my mobile screen. We can also drag tools to specific players. So as you can see I can drag tools and you see I get them in my other screen. Let's see, we have speed core, I can also drag that over to my people, and I can also get building tools and drag them across too. So that's a really nice feature. Then, yep, as you can see, these tools will work. Then what we're going to try out is we're going to try out the sub-announcement. So let's just say something. Okay, hold on, we need to wait for this to update. So server filtering is a bit strange. You need to actually wait for the text box to be able to update it, so make sure it finishes the animation before you actually use your announcement. And as you can see, there's an announcement for the entire server. Then we can also lock the server, so this is like S-locking. So as you can see, if I'm a new player and I try to join again, and the server is locked, so let me see, I'm gonna try joining again. You're gonna see I get kicked because it's locked, and then let's unlock it so I can join. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, I get in perfectly. And then also effects, so we can drag on custom particle effects onto people, and as you can see, when I move around, I have these effects on my mobile screen. Okay, great. So now I'm going to show you what you can do by clicking on players. So let's say I click on this player, and we open more. I have all of these features, so I can make them visible, or I can make them invisible. Okay, so as you can see, I made that invisible. And then here, I can make them visible again. I think there might be a bit of a debounce on that. And as you can see, I can bring them, or I can follow them. And that's just a feature, so follow will make me go to them and bring more, obviously bring them. And then another cool feature is I can actually put them in a makeshift jail. And as you can see, they're going to be locked up now and there's no way they can escape. So here he is, inside of the cage. And that's just a nice feature, for example, if you want to keep someone caged while you look at something. And you can also notify them. Once again, you need to make sure, once again, you need to make sure that the text box has finished its animation so that text filtering doesn't get in the way. So I didn't realise that at the time of this recording, so I kept trying to input it, and that's why it kept giving me that error, just wait, just make sure you wait for that text box to finish its animation. Okay, let's see. Okay, I don't know if I figure it out in this clip, this is really embarrassing for me watching now, but let's see. Okay, I'm very impatient. Okay, and now this should work, and yeah, it did work. Okay, that's all good. And then also, we can um, kick them. So let's just kick them from the game once again. You need to wait for the textbox animation to finish. Then I kick them, and then let's rejoin. And then also, I'm going to be able to ban them. So I just click on the ban button. I give it a reason. I wait for the animation to finish. This time I realized, then I ban them, and ban of course works. And obviously, if you want to unban them, you can head over to the unban panel and pass their username. And that's just a quick little show off of this command center. Now time to get into how you can install it. Okay, so once you're ready to install it, make sure you're in the same page that I'm in. It will look a little bit like this. Then make sure, if you don't know where this page is, just check out the first link in the description and it'll take you right here. Then what you can do is open up this section and click on get product exe. Okay, so I'm just going to delete, so don't ignore this step, don't do what I did. This is just so I can show you what it looks like, and this is how it should look like for you. Then what you can do is click on get, and then click on get now. Then once you're ready, you can open up studio. Okay, once you're ready, you can go into any game of your choice. Personally, I'm going to go into a base play, but if you already have a game, you can go there and install it. Then I'm going to close all of these other plugins to reduce clutter. Then, once you're ready, open up Toolbox. You'll find it on Home, and it's going to be next to Editor. And then, if you head over to Inventory, you should be able to see Product EXE will be there. Then open it up, and click OK. And as you can see, it's going to be in a folder here, and you're going to see all of these things. Don't worry about moving them, just focus on your Explorer. 
Okay, and then take this, exe manager, and drop it inside of service group service. And that's almost everything you need to do. So you may notice now, if we try to play the game, we won't see that handy open button that shows us the entire UI. You can see there's nothing on our page, and nothing showing our admin is here. So we actually need to give ourselves right to the admin panel. So once again, as I mentioned earlier, you can't link it to ranks, however, you can link it to user IDs. So head over to exe underscore manager, then to permitted user IDs, and then in here you can see there's an ID. Now let's pretend we have two users, okay? So let's head over to Roblox, and let's head over to my profile and exit out full screen mode. Then let's give it a second to load. Inside of the URL, you'll see a long number. That's your user ID. Then let's paste that in for the value. And let's say we want multiple people. What we do is we duplicate this ID either by pressing Ctrl D or doing copy and paste into permitted user IDs. And then we're going to paste in the user and then we're going to paste in the new user ID of our admin. So let's just say for example 1234567. And that means the people with the user IDs 1234567 and of my ID, 1012247, blah 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 blah, will have access to the panel. Now there's one more crucial step. So if you don't have a published game, make sure your game is published. Okay, and then there's a super important step. So this admin uses data source, and we need to give the admin right to the data source. So head over to game settings, security, and then make sure enable studio access to API services. Then let's click save and we should be ready to test out our admin. So let's click on play. Okay, and as you can see, we now have this open button. And as you can see, our admin is working perfectly. Okay, so if you have any questions about this, head over to the forums and ask there. I did not make this, so all credit goes out to the creator of this. You will be able to find them through the dev forum post that is also going to be linked in the description down below. Keep in mind this panel is likely still going to be upgraded. If you find bugs, be sure to report it. If you don't know where the dev forum post is or it disappears somehow, just click on these three lines. If you want to support the channel for just $2 a month, go down and click on join next to our YouTube channel name. And if you want to talk with the rest of the community or have any other scripting problems, feel free to head over to our forms. That's forms.thecookie.dev and give us a shout. So once more, thank you for tuning in. That's all from me and bye bye.